What's up, guys? This is Tony, Sports Card Fanatic 805. Um, just gonna show off um, some. Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna show off actually a submission that I'm gonna be sending off to PSA. It's gonna be 15 cards. And I'm gonna be showing off some other cards that I recently picked up as well from eBay. Um, and. Yeah, I'll go ahead and actually start off with the submit the submission, and um, start off first with this uh, Steve Young uh, tops rookie. Um, hoping this gets a nine. It's really well centered. It does have on the top right and left corners some corner wear, very minor, but uh, still feel like it has a shot at a nine. So, that's that card. Uh, next three cards here are these three uh, Ken Griffey. These are the Fleers. Rookie cards. All very well centered. Sharp corners, edges. Really clean service on all three of them. Um, hoping these get tens, actually, so... We'll see what happens with those. These are really nice. Um, Griffey stuff, all his rookie stuff, is just all his cards have just shot up. I think this card in a 10 was for a while at like 30 to 40 bucks. It's now, I think, a, one, a little over 100 bucks now. Um, everything, all his rookie stuff is just shot up like crazy in 10s. Next card here is uh, this Barry Sanders score rookie. Iconic card, of course. Um, man, this card just looks perfect to me. Uh, hoping for a 10. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if it got a 9. Um, with PSA, as much as I've submitted, I know that I shouldn't expect the grade that I think it's going to get. Um, but I've also been wrong. And uh, I'm going to send a card that would think would get a 9, and it got a 10. So... <laughs> PSA, they're very strict, very strict, and um, they're just the best. So, I mean, whatever this card gets, great it gets, it probably is what it deserves. So, yeah, that's that. And next card here is this Kevin McHale, top rookie. Uh, this this is really well centered. It does have in uh, great uh, corners and uh, pretty pretty nice edges. It does have a surface uh, surface bump, which is which is common with these uh, '80s cards. Actually, the, a lot of the vintage cards have like these little surface bumps. Um, I think this had like one or two of them on there, so that probably will give it a nine. Um, could even get an eight, but I think it really has a good shot at a nine. So we'll see. Uh, next card here is this uh, Andre Dawson rookie card. This card to me looks really nice. Feel like it has a good shot at a nine as well, and um, pretty pretty well centered, left to right, top to bottom. Uh, it's bigger on it's thicker on the bottom than it is on top, but it's not too bad. I was looking at other nines on eBay, and this one looks pretty comparable to some of them. So we'll see. We'll see what this gets. I picked this up at a flea market, I think, for like $5. So couldn't beat that price for that card. Um, then the next cards here are just this lot of 2012 uh, Mike Trout Tops update. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight in total. But these cards just, I mean, Tops update is pretty easy. Just got to check the surface. But, I mean, it's all white borders. Um, edges, it's just a pretty easy card, 2012, 2011, any update cards are pretty easy, these all look really clean to me, I, I would be, I would be surprised if these got less than a 9, I really feel like they, they all have the possibility of getting a gem mint, but we'll see, so that's that, that's the 15 card uh, submission that I'm going to be sending off. These next um, batch of cards, um, these I'm going to be sending off to Beckett. Um, what I do is I usually determine, because most of the cards I just end up selling. 
So if I feel like I'll get better value because I might a card get has a shot at a nine five instead of a instead of a PSA ten, I'd rather just send it to Beckett. And um, I've been right most of the time, thinking that a card would get a nine five. I'm more I'm more precise with my grading, uh, you know, thinking of what a great a card would get with Beckett. Beckett's a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. I just had so much experience with them as well that I kind of can tell what a 9.5 would be to them. So, uh, this card here, Saquon Barkley, uh, Contenders Rookie Ticket. Now, this card is really nice, really well centered, except for I don't know if the camera could pick it up. By the way, I film on my cell phone camera, so um, you could see there, the bottom right, it's a little dinged up. But other than that, or bottom left in the camera actually, but other than that, it's really nice. I don't know what the corners will get. I'm hoping for a 9. It's not really that bad. Um, I tried messing with it a little bit, trying to like straighten it out a bit. Um, helped a little, but not much. But it's not really that bad. So I'm thinking the corners could get hopefully get a 9, but the rest of the card is really clean. I mean, if this corner wasn't like that, I would send this to PSA because I felt like it would, really could have got a 10 because the surface is immaculate, front and back. Clean auto. The auto should get a 10. So, uh, Next card here is this Fernando Tatis. This is the Bowman Chrome rookie. And this is the Refractor. Numbered out of 499. Beautiful card. Does have a couple surface scratches. Very minor. Kind of looked by his elbow. I probably can't see. But um, the rest of the card is perfect to me. So surface probably getting a 9. Um... Centering, I'm banking on a 9.5. I don't see anything wrong with the centering. Corners. And these cards can be... The, the corners can be... They show a little wear. And these corners are really sharp. So definitely a 9.5 on the corners. And edges look great to me. Um, so that's that card. Sweet card. Then I have these two Griffey upper decks. And... Um, one of these, I believe it's this one here. Right there, you can see there's like a little nick on the left edge there. Other than that, it's perfect. Um, this card has, I think, a couple very minor surface scratches. But other than that, it's perfect as well. Centered. Centered really well. Both of them are very, very well centered. And um, sharp corners. Very sharp corners. Edges look smooth full diamond on both of them so better shot at a 9.5 in my opinion next card here is this Keenan Allen uh, Panini Contenders now I originally had this submitted to was going to put this in that 15 order include this in that PSA submission but it does have very minor corner wear um, top and bottom on this side here uh, so I decided well maybe just send it to Beckett just because and like I said, I'm going to end up selling these cards anyways. So if I want to try to get more val the best value I can for, for my cards, um, resale value at least that is. This next card here is just Jordan Fleer. Now this card I had it submitted to PSA because I thought it was there was it was perfect. Um, came back a 9, so I cracked it out, decided, well, I'll just send this to Beckett. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's just a really clean card. The surface is clean. I don't don't know how I got a nine, but then again, I must have missed something somewhere somehow. But um, or the grader just you know it was just a particular grader or whatever. But so yeah, I'm just gonna send this to Beckett. See what happens. I think it has a shot at a nine five. Then the last card here is this Jeter SP foil iconic card. This card has some white. On the face there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyways, um, that's definitely a factory uh, uh, issue there. And this corner here has some minor wear. All in all, I think this card could get an eight at least. Um, otherwise, the rest of the card is really good. The surface isn't too too bad. I mean, this card notoriously has so many scratches. Because it's a, obviously a foil card, but the surface actually isn't that bad, except for this white on his face, and that'll definitely 
can't miss that. So I felt like PSA would have probably given this like a six, maybe even, you know, or a seven, seven or six, but definitely no higher than that, especially with this, this on his face here. But anyways, so yeah, I'm going to be sending those to Beckett. And I have two cards here that I um, picked up well, on eBay. I don't do a lot of vintage. Um, but I found a seller who sold some, sells some really nice vintage looking vintage cards. And he has perfect feedback. Um, they are all raw. So it was kind of like, okay, well, he's got good feedback. The um, problem, of course, with vintage, if you buy them raw, is you don't know if it's a reprint or whatever. So I decided, well, you know, take a shot at it. Now, all his bids, he started really high. You know, there's certain sellers that they start their bids and kind of what they want the price of the card to begin with. So obviously, those are the type of bids that most people stay away from just because you don't want to pay that price. But uh, I took a shot at a couple of these cards. Um this card in particular, one card I can tell looks authentic. This other card I'm not too familiar with just because I don't do vintage, but it's this Ernie Banks. This is a 19, this is 60, 60 tops. Um, but this card is just, I mean, it's just perfect. It, there's a little scratch here, little like, little like mini scratch, like on the bottom left. It's, it's in the white too, so you can't really can't really see it unless you really look at look at it up close but it is just perfect now like i said i'm not too familiar with vintage um one thing what i do with with cards and um <laughs> this is kind of like a funny thing to do but it it kind of is kind of a good way to tell but if you take the back of the card and you kind of sniff it it has that uh smell to it like a you know that it's authentic like a pack like 86 fleer when I do it with 86 Fleer basketball, um, sometimes it can be hard to tell. But if you take a sniff at the back, it has that pack smell. Um, that's one thing that I've realized. You can tell between a vintage and a re I mean, a real thing and a reprint. But this card is just perfect. I mean, wow. It's just a beautiful card. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a raw vintage card in just perfect condition. Um, is this, this is. The centering is really nice. I messaged the, the seller because even though it did kind of have that smell to it i messaged him just because i said this card is really nice are you sure it's a not a reprint and he said you know all his cards are authentic and like i said he's got perfect feedback um and i've looked at other people's you know comments and uh or you know their feedback and what they bought and you know they all left feed great feedback so nothing that says that you know the card's a reprint or whatever but man, this card is just perfect. Like, probably would get a nine, uh, uh, you know, or, or an eight at the least, an eight. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I don't usually do vintage. Um, but this is just a beautiful card, just a beautiful card. So I'm really happy with this card. I mean, if it comes, if it at least even gets an eight, that's that's cool because an eight is impossible, you know, with vintage. Not impossible, but I mean, it's pretty hard to get an eight with vintage. Especially because, obviously, just, you know, how beat up some of the cards, most of the cards are. But, I mean, this card is, like, perfect. So, this is this was, like, a, a great surprise to pick this up. I sniped it because, you know, it, like I said, he was selling it for, you know, a, a, a huge... He was starting... The starting bid was pretty high. So, you know, most people, obviously, will stay away from that. But, I mean, it definitely, you know, if it turns out to be a real card, which I really think it is now... I see the more I look at it, I guess it is real. It just looks so nice <laughs> to be real. Um, it's definitely well worth worth the price. And then I got this <laughs> this OJ OJ rookie, and OJ stuff still is um, you know highly desired. Um, just was looking at some. I never really. I think I've looked a couple times in the past just at his rookie card or whatever what it goes for in certain grades but this card looks really nice it does have a little surface dimple those little surface bumps that i was mentioning on that mikhail card same thing on this card but um yeah got a great uh, deal on this card as well this card i can tell for sure is real it just has that look to it and the feel in the back and uh has the uh the pack smell to it as well 
But um, yeah, just a beautiful card as well. Um, these cards I'm gonna actually be sending to the Long Beach coin. I'm gonna be going to the Long Beach Coin Show, a coin and uh, uh, coin and collectible show here in Long Beach, California. And PSA is there every every time they have the show, and they will be they do grading on site. And I will definitely be submitting these cards then. I won't be sending these in just because. Uh, I'd rather just have them do it then and there um, instead of sending these in. So I prefer just to do that this time. And um, yeah, but that's that. And um, I will show off the results of the PSA submission and this uh, smaller Beckett submission. I will definitely show those results as soon as I get them back. Um, the National is coming up and um, there's going to be a little bit of a delay um, for both Beckett and PSA. So, but anyhow, hope you guys, uh, if any of you are going to the national, enjoy, have a good time. I would like to go myself, but my work schedule wouldn't allow me to make it out there. Hopefully I can go next year, but if you guys do go, any of you guys who watch, um, enjoy and happy collecting. Um, I enjoy watching a lot of videos. I don't really interact too much with uh, a lot of uh, other YouTubers, but I, I uh, do appreciate a lot of your content, and um, it's just fun to watch, and I appreciate uh, any comments or feedback on my videos as well. So, once again, uh, happy collecting, and um, have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching.